Three years ago, Essendon's Nathan Lovett Murray set up a record label for Indigenous Australians. And despite the huge demands of an AFL career, he devotes hours a week at a small recording studio near Melbourne, helping the many artists he now represents. This weekend, one of the bands, The Young Warriors, will perform as part of the lead up to Dreamtime at the G. Four, three, two, one. Payback Records um, was set up three years ago and um, it was set up to give young Indigenous people a voice for hip-hop music. Now one of the guys from Young Warriors, Jimbo Possum Burns, um, he was a guy that I used to go to school with and um, I hadn't seen him for a few years and asked him what he was doing and he just recorded his first CD and I had to listen to it and it was the first time I heard Indigenous hip-hop and then just from there I just wanted to work with those guys and help promote their music and um, you know, help get them gigs. and. We got together and we talked about what we needed and you know, we need our own record label where we could promote it ourselves. And we want to get our music out to the world. You know, that's always been our vision from the start and um, be able to promote our culture through, through music. So that's something that you know, we're really proud of and you know, really trying to do. Last year we went to um, New York and LA with the Young Warriors and um, we did some gigs over in New York and, and we met some people in the music in industry and so you know, we'll be looking to go over there again in October this year and do some shows and uh, really promote our music over there because it's such a big market. Sometimes I just wonder why. And how rewarding has this whole experience been? Ben, uh, for myself personally, you know, it's so rewarding because to be able to give young people an opportunity at something that they really enjoy doing and to be able to open doors for them and be able to create an environment where they can um, come here and you know we've got our own studio, we make our own videos, we do national tours and, and make CDs so it's just being able to create that environment for young people to come in here and you know, reach their full potential and you know it's my job just to sort of mentor them and just help them along the way. I've been at Essendon for 10 years now and um, you know, I'm really proud to be a part of that club. You know, they do a lot of work in the Indigenous community and you know, that, that's really helped me um, outside of football with uh, my work that I do in the Indigenous community as well. And um, you know, I guess you know, I've played over 100 games and you know, I'd like to play in a premiership. You know, that, that's my main aim is to be able to be an Essendon premiership player. You've got a famous uh, great-grandfather? Yeah, uh, great-grandfather um, Pastor Sir Doug Nichols. So, you know, I, I learned a bit about his story a few years ago. You know, he played for Victoria and uh, Fitzroy and then he was knighted by the Queen and he was Governor of South Australia and, you know, he did a lot of charity work in the Indigenous community around the country and, um, you know, to sort of have that type of, um, I guess, to do those type of things in, in the, back in those days, it would have been, you know, a lot of challenges and, you know, he was able to do that and I guess, you know, that gives me confidence to be able to believe in what I'm doing. So now you know. Indigenous people here have got the worst life expect expectancy compared to all Indigenous people around the world and um, you know, it's something that I'm, I'm really passionate about is trying to you know, help, help Indigenous people and try and you know, reach their full potential. I think you know, the more people learn about our culture, the, the more um, accepted they will be of Indigenous people.